We got something special today. I went a little crazy. I bought myself a Christmas present. But first off, check this out. This is our lanyard from TwitchCon. I got these pins. This is how magic's gonna go, by the way, waiting for it to focus the whole time. It is Beerus eating ramen. And then I got Vegeta. Ugh. Focus, Vegeta. Yeah. This is my TwitchCon pass. I got everybody that came to our meet and greet to sign it. So I got everybody's signatures from the meet and greet. Looking good. All right. Logan, thanks for the seven months in a row. So we got a Ultimate Masters box. These are all of the prices of everything right now. Uh, we got this pulled up on MTG Goldfish. We're looking for a Liliana of the Veil, a Karn, Cavern of Souls would be awesome, Tarmaguff, Snapcaster Mage. Lots of good stuff in here. Woof. Oh, man. What's up, Vile Guy? Thanks for the bits. So we're going to go ahead and, um, I guess, jump right in here. Ugh. It's kind of weird. They have, like, this filler cardboard in here. I don't really need much more cardboard. So we're probably gonna put this video up on YouTube. Although it's probably not gonna be as good of a quality as the last video where we did a box opening because we're doing it live right now. But uh, if I get some stuff for Christmas, we'll definitely open that on YouTube and put that up there. How many of Liliana's are out there total? Oh, I have no idea. Kind of like a big question. Okay. Little Hugorm, it's your two-year anniversary! That's awesome! Thank you so much! Alright. So there are 24 packs in this. There's the filler cardboard. Here is the box. It's very fancy. And I imagine it would normally like open up like this and then you would pop this down here maybe and it would go like that so here is our box topper I'm trying to see if I can see through it see what it is. I think if you have a bright enough light, you can. I cannot tell what it is just looking up at my, my ring light. So we're going to open that last. You want to do that first or last, guys? Last. Last. <laughs> I like you guys. Alright, guys. Here are the 24 packs. I wonder on average how many mythics there are in a box. Now, it kind of sucks not drafting this. But you can get some really expensive good cards. So it's meant to be like a draft experience. Uh, 24 packs. 
And if you were doing something like really cool, you could do like a draft and then the winner gets the ultimate box topper as the prize. This comes in this little thin package. It's a single card. Now, this could be anywhere from like a couple of bucks in this box topper to a, um, a full art uh, foil special Liliana, which is worth 310 bucks, I think, right now. So it's worth the entire box if you pull a Liliana out of this thing. So that's what we'll hope for. Here are the packs. I guess we should start popping them. They're like a little bit looser than uh, I feel like a normal booster pack would be. All right. Now I'm not sure, I haven't looked at all the prices and I'm not familiar with all the cards in this set. So we're gonna go through a couple of packs until I get a feel for what is common and what, what we shouldn't uh, pull off to the side to like sleeve up and you know whatnot. I got it from a store. So we got a homunculus token. So I can, you know what, I'm probably gonna blur the webcam out, so I'm gonna look blurred out the whole time. Just because, I mean, I guess I could just, this is fine for now. A little homunculus token. Uh, right away, I got a rare foil. Reanimate. I wish it would focus. Reanimate. It's a foil. It's on the top of the pack. Shiro beep beep. Uh, for one black, you can put target creature card from a great from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. You lose life equal to its converted mana cost. Its flavor text says, "You'd better be worth it." Liliana Vess. Um. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Let's see, where does Reanimate fall on the list here? Here, I'll just sort it by by name. And we'll scroll down to find it th uh, that way. So reanimate is 10 bucks. $24 for the foil already. Wow. First pack we opened. Foil reanimate. Okay. Let's we'll sleeve that boy up. My Mario sleeve. Okay, we got a Ray of Dawn bringer. This is worth like a buck. I could throw this in my angel deck. I have a couple of these. It's casting cost is just insane. It's like 70 cents, I think. I mean, anything over 50 cents, I'm gonna sleeve up here. Uh, Eternal Witness. So I just like to get a feel for what these cards are worth. Flat Tires, thanks for 44 months. Eternal Witness, three bucks. Three dollar uncommon. When Eternal Witness enters the battlefield, you may re return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, that seems pretty good. For three casting costs here. So here's what Eternal Witness looks like. Let me just blow this up a little bit. Most expensive uncommon, Mahatmi Jin. Twenty cents uncommon. You do not earn yourself a sleeve, sir. Plume Evil. Flash Defender Flying four four for three. Twenty two cents. 
Reckless Worm. Are there? Let's see if there's any commons here that are worth any money. Uh, Kadama's Reach. Faithless Looting Hyena Umbra. Martyr of Sands seem to be the best here. Kadama's Reach. Okay. Uh, so we got a Reckless Worm. Stitcher's Apprentice. Come on. I'm about to blur myself out. Alright, let's just do this so I don't have to keep focusing. I'm gonna be blurry, guys, but... The cards will not be. Let me find the sweet spot here. Whoops. There's the sweet spot. Hyena Umbra. So this is actually a 50 cent one. And Chained a Creature gets plus one, plus one, and first strike. It's because it only costs one to cast it. So we're pulling that out. Sanitarian, uh, sanitarium skeleton. Crushing canopy. That's a familiar card. Totem armor two. Oh, it does have totem armor. Yeah, that's fucking sick. That's actually sick. Olivia's Dragoon. Move OBS off screen. But I'm looking at it. What do you mean? Oh. That's not OBS. That's... <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Shed Weakness. Resurrection. That's not bad for four. Night Bird's Clutches. And Vessel of Endless Rest. Resurrection is way too expensive. <laughs> Really? Oh, you mean for four? I mean, it depends on how big of a creature. I was thinking more of like in Commander, maybe. All right, second pack. We're saving the box topper for last. If it's a Liliana, I'm gonna freak out. Not great of a chance for it to be Liliana. Zombie token. Dude, we got a foil in here, too. It's a lava spike. Foil lava spike. What's up, Moon? You get a foil of every pack in Masters? What? I had no idea. Well, that's cool. Lava Spikes, $2. Four bucks for a foil, huh? Let's leave it. Okay. Ooh, this is a mythic card. I think this is a pretty good one. Um, yeah, temporal manipulation.
take an extra turn after this one. Woo! Feels good, man. It's pretty good. I'm a happy boy. That seems a little strong. Yeah, just a little. All right. A Crow and Crusader. Where's my uncommons? I think they got mixed up. Yeah, that's fine. A Crow and Crusader. I'll, I'll see. I'll show you the commons that we don't get repeats of, and then you guys can yell at me if it's worth anything or good. Last grasp. Spider Umbra. Totem Armor Reach. The Spider Umbra not good. Hyena Umbra is better. Blood Flow Connoisseur. Oh, that seems pretty good. Unholy Hunger. Spider Umbra is shit. Okay. Ulamog's Crusher. Eight, eight, eight for eight, eight. Tethmos High Priest. If you pull a box topper Liliana, it's three hundred dollars. A regular Liliana is sixty, and a foil is eighty to ninety, I believe. Stream of Consciousness. This card's pretty worthless, I believe. Nobody plays that, right? Let's just go ahead. 17 cents. Artisan of Kozilek. Whenever you cast this spell, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Stream of Consciousness is really good. Oh, is it? Ghoul Steed. Looks awesome. It once served a Cathar Road Watcher patrolling the crossways between villages. Its hooves still carry it along the same path. I like leaving, uh, reading the flavor text on all the cards. 26. Fiery Temper. Aether Snipe. And a Terra Morphic Expanse. Which is a staple card in Commander. Alright. Pack number three. It's got Liliana on the front of it. Dude. Whew. This is uh, scratching my my magic and my gambling I got some adrenaline going I want some some big pulls some good cards the best part about this is it's like you can go fuck people up with them after you get them right that's like the best part you get good cards and then you get to go use them on Friday night to destroy people it's great so our foil is a pulse of Marasa it is a common foil. Still gonna sleeve it because it's foil. So can you get more than one foil in a pack out of curiosity? Ooh, I think this is a good one. Life from the Loam. Rolling Thunder, thanks for that Twitch Prime. Appreciate that, Rolling Thunder. Come on, it's back. Life from the loam. Pay two, return up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand, dredge three. Not bad. Slip it in a Mario sleeve. That's a rare. Counter Squall. 
That is Demir for show. Let's see. 67 cents. Earns a sleeve. It's like a cheaper ionize or something, right? But for different colors. Emancipation Angel. When it enters the battlefield, return target permanent you control to owner's hand. Twenty-two cents. I've always been into magic. I made it part of a stream, uh, part of the stream when MTG Arena came out. Magma. Sacrifice non-land permanent. Magma deals one damage to any target creature. 18 cents. Flight of Fancy. That's an ugly ass goblin. Canker Abomination. Frantic Search. Patchwork Gnomes. Discard a card, regenerate patchwork gnomes. Our wizard's trash. One wizard's trash is another wizard's roving gang of abominations. Death denied. Hey, why don't we stay positive, birthday skeleton? We're only three packs in. Hey, it's a Kadama's Reach. Dollar common. All right. Lots of complainers in chat. It'll be okay, guys. We're having fun. We're opening packs. Heliod's Pilgrim. Thermo Alchemist. Madness Can't Touch a Mind Ignited by Genius. Mir Servitor. Angelic Renewal. All right, on to pack number four. It's the Karn Daddy. Woo! Let's go. These packs are kind of hard to open. It's like they don't want to be open. Ugh. Ah, it's like, don't open me. Keep me in your closet for ten years and hope I go up in value. Oh. I will play with you. We got a raid bombardment. Foil. I'm excited about this card we just got. It's a demonic tutor. Beware the generosity of demons. Mmm. Craigasm! Oh, I've always wanted my own demonic tutor, guys. $22. Ooh. Feels good, man. Mm. Igward, 35 months. Thank you. Demonic Tutor. Oof. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Oh. Yeah, no big deal. Just any card you want. Cool. Appetite for brains. Uh, 18 cents. Golgari charm. 
the artwork is sick. Let the rest of Ravnica sneer. One way or another, they all end up in the Undercity. Golgari Charm. 22 cents. Boneyard Worm. The only thing it likes more than discovering a pit of bones is adding to it. 21 cents. Seder Wayfinder. The first Seder to wake after a revel must search for the site of the next one. Hmm. Just the wind. So many commons. Cathodian. Instead of creating a tool that would be damaged by heat, the Thrawn built one that was charged by it. Awful snout. Gross. Eel Umbra. Staunch Heart Warrior. As soon as she faces a monster, she begins com composing its... Oh, composing its edif epitaph. Ed Ugh, epitaph. Jesus. It's a mouthful. Moan of the Unhallowed. For a ghoul, every village is a buffet, and every disaster is a reunion. Ingot Chewer. Elementals are ideas given form. This one is the idea of smashitude. Turn to mist. Exile target creature. Return that card to the battlefield under its controllers. Under its owner's control. Blah. At the beginning of the next instep. And. Ika Tien Crier? I Cashin Crier? A Cashin. Alright, pack number five. Let's go. They put all the goodies right on top of the pack. I don't think we've gotten a single repeat common yet, or uncommon. Which is kind of weird. Olivia's Dragoon is our. Shiny foil. Hey, Confrigo. That foil looks awesome. Ooh, that's a mythic. I think that's eight bucks. One of the lower end mythics, but still a mythic. Platinum Empyrean, seven bucks. 888, eight, eight, your life total can't change. It ignores such insignificant forces as time, entropy, and death. I feel like that's a good commander card, which is kind of what I'm looking for here. That's pretty sexy. I don't play modern, so I'm kind of looking for good commander cards. Um, just kind of like to build my collection and maybe get a couple of big pulls to resell to get more cards. Rolling Timblor. Deals two damage to each creature without flying and has flashback. And that is... 18 cents. Hero of Eroas. Four spells cost one less to cast whenever you cast a spell that targets this, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Seems pretty good. How much is it worth? Twenty-four cents. What is your staple deck for commander? What do you mean staple deck? Oh, uh, I have an angel deck that I'm using. Devoted druid. Okay. 
So it's a Lana War Elf that can untap itself to give itself minus one, minus one. I think that one was something. Yeah, 150. I used Avacyn, Angel of Hope. She is 8 casting cost, 8-8 eight, eight flying, vigilance, indestructible. All other permanents you control are also indestructible. I'm working on a Lazav EDH deck and a Zozu land destruction EDH deck. I'm trying to piece together the cards uh, slowly. Alright, we've already seen that. We've already seen that. Treasure Cruise. Countless delights drift off, drift on the surface while dark skeins run below. Crow of Dark Tidings. Miming Slime. One's pretty green. We paid the Simic very well for this capability, but we should quickly recoup our expenses and save wages. Pulse of Marasa, we've seen that. Molten Birth. Few can coax the creatures within the magma to be cooled and take form. It's a fat unicorn. Ronum Unicorn. She's thick. The aberrant magic of the Rhyme Wind drew the unicorns back from the northern wastes to do battle once again. She thick. Wastes, huh? Faithless looting. Avacyn has abandoned us. We have nothing left except what we can take. I'll take a meatball sub. Treasure Crudence is about as good as Ancestral Recall. Hack number six. Fairy Rogue. Our foil is Reckless Worm. Looting worth a buck or two. Faithless Looting? 60 cents. That's actually a pullout. Pull that boy out. Creeping Tar Pit, which sucks because I just bought a foil version of this for like 40 bucks. Not knowing it was going to be reprinted. Like a couple of months ago, I picked that up. Damn it. Rip. Five bucks. No swears, please. Do you know where you are? Spider spawning. Uh, 21 cents. Phalanx leader. Mm, each creature you control, huh? 19 cents. Hero of Lena Tower. <clears throat> you cannot achieve greatness if its seed has not already been planted in your heart. Okay. But what if I am the main hero in an anime and I haven't reached my peak yet? 22 cents. Random splice, four months. Thank you very much. Couldn't do it without you guys. Man. This content would not be possible without the, you know, at least 1% of you guys supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Rune snag. Now stop me if any of these are worth over like 50 cents or I should pull them out. 
Hissing Iguanar. It's pretty cute from a distance. Concentration is key. Without it, a mage conjures nothing but a splitting headache. Sultai Skullkeeper. The Skullkeeper is the first to arrive after the palace archers strike down intruders, probing their brains for choice bits of knowledge. Fume Spitter. Golgari Brown Scale. Our archers made sport of it as it fumbled its way up the slag ridge. As it collapsed, we thought ourselves safe, but the foul thing carried more than necrogen. And this one is Dredge. Dark Dabbling. Dabble. Spark Spitter, we've seen that. Martyr of the Sands. Only in our vulnerability is their true power, and that power is life itself. Arena Athlete. The Aroan Games award no medals. Athletes vie for a visit from Aroas God of Victory. And God's willing. Target creature control gains protection with color of your choice until end of turn. Honor the gods of Theron, and they will return the favor. All right, pack seven. And any commons we've already seen, guys, I'm just going to throw in the box automatically. Ooh. This is a common, but it looks awesome. Rakdos Shred Freak. Look at that. Los Piflos, thanks for 14 months. <clears throat> if there were such a thing as a soul, I think it would be behind the gallbladder, but above the kidneys. All right, we got a dig through time. is 65 cents. Dig through time, another perfectly balanced card. Dawn Charm. Thirty-one cents. Apprentice Necromancer. A mage willing to dedicate his life to his craft. Twenty-eight cents. Wild hunger. Twenty cents. Hyena Umbra, so that goes in our common pile. Skywing Avon, or Avon. I am the wind, I, 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 am at, I am as the wind that bears me. Harsh yet gentle, fleeting yet ever present. Together we fly beyond imagination. I'm reading it off OBS, which makes it a little bit more challenging. Wicker Buff Elder. Living scarecrows make a mockery of the natural order. Dead ones make fine hats. <clears throat> Mark of the vampire. My condition is a trial. The weak are consumed by it. The strong transcend it. Prey upon. You don't find many old werewolf hunters. Seen it. Seen it. Beckon apparition. Uh, Beckon apparition. The foyer is littered with the coin with the coins it demands, but can no longer hold. 
Sky Spear Cavalry. There's so many different commons. And a Molten Birth, which we've seen. Pack number eight. Wait, do I have a young Pyromancer in here? I don't think so, right? You're just talking about it? We got a citizen token. That's a fallen looking citizen. Prismatic Lens is our foil. It's uncommon. Twenty-six. It looks really pretty though. Right. This rare hurts a little bit. It's a Lava Claw Reaches. I got a um, a box topper of this in the mail from Wizards because of my Mythic Edition box that we had so much trouble with. 57 cents for a rare land. Whew. Get low, low, low. Ouch. Lava Spy. 216. This is worth more than my rare. Chris Ward, thanks for the nine months in a row. It's not the most subtle incantation, but it gets the point across. Thanks, Chris Ward. Let's name our baby Briss Broad. Laboratory Maniac. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. That's a little fucked up. How much did you earn so far? I haven't added up the total. Uh, his mind whirled with great, with grand plans, never thinking of what might happen if he were to succeed. That's a dollar sixty-eight. That's like a win condition, isn't it? Rally the peasants. <laughs> If you must go out at night, bring a mob. I like that card. 21 cents. Stitched Drake. The best scobs are more powerful and more beautiful than the sum of their parts. It's a zombie Drake. Sweet. Scuzzback Marauders. Deranged Assistant. Garl, adjust the slurry dispensers. Garl, fetch more corpses. Garl, quit crying and give me your brain tissue. If he doesn't stop being so rude, I'm quitting. Ghoul Caller's Accomplice. Once in the box, we're all the same. Wild Mongrel. It teaches you to teaches you to play dead. Defy gravity. On every plane is the multiverse. There is magic and someone using it to fly. Twins of the Marer Estate. This card's creepy. Children, where are your parents? Last words has madness. 3 5. Spoopy. Safe hold elite. 2 2. Not even death will keep her from her mission. Conviction and generator servant. There is no greater coward than one who believes in nothing. Conviction. Infinite potential given finite form. All right, pack number nine. No big daddy pulls yet. I mean, we got a demonic tutor. Let's see, the best pulls we've gotten so far. 
We got a dig through time. We got a creeping tar pit. We got a platinum empyrean. We got a demonic tutor. We got a life from the loam and a temporal manipulation. And a reanimate foil. So I think that's like $100 worth of cards so far. If I had to guess. There's that foil reanimate. That's like 20 bucks. Temporal manipulation was like, what, 20 bucks, I think? It's like 18 bucks or something. 18 bucks. Life from the Loam, 12 bucks, 13 bucks. Demonic Tutor was like 22 bucks. Platinum Empyrean was like, what, seven or eight? Creeping Tar Pit, five. Dig Through Time was a couple. And then we got some decent uncommons and commons that are worth money too. So we're at least at like a hundred something, I would say. Box. We got a Wing Steed Rider foil. Recall! I'm not selling them, I'm just tallying their value at the moment. Back to basics. Non-lands, non-basic lands don't untap during their controller's in, uh, untap steps. That seems kind of fucked up. A ruler wears a crown while the rest of us wear hats. But which would you rather have when it's raining? Holy shit! Damn! What's up, McDonald? Old McDonald. Murderous Red Cap. That is creepy as hell. Imagine waking up and that thing's staring at you from the, your bed. Twenty-five cents. War Leader's Helix. There is no time to remedy our enemies' ignorance. Blast it out of them. Aurelia. What is it? Dakmore Salvage. 50 cents. I'm gonna pull that one out. Mad Prophet. I have seen it. Seen the end. Seen the beginning. The beginning of the end. Not death. No, no. Transcendence. Archaeomancer. Words of power never disappear. They sleep. Awaiting those with the will to rouse them. Another wing steed, Walker of the Grove. Gurmag Angler. If everything in the Gurmag swamp hungers for human flesh, what bait could be more effective? Thirty-four cents. High value common. Okay. Foil. Among wizards, poor timing is the most consistent mistake. You may discard an island card and another card rather than paying the spell's mana cost. That's a little dirty because it can look like you're tapped out, and they'll play something big, and you can still counter it if you need to. And blue usually draws a lot of cards anyway. Beck and Apparition, Sky Spears Cavalry, Undying Rage, we haven't seen that. And another Rakdos Shred Freak. Pack number nine, I believe? Maybe ten? 
Damn, we've been doing this for an hour. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm taking it slow. I'm enjoying this. Crow of Dark Tidings is our foil. Magus of the Bazaar is our rare. 50 cents. Some trade in goods, some in secrets. My soul has walked the futures, and I offer the rare coin a possibility. Draw two cards, then discard three cards. Vengeful Rebirth. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. If you return a non-land card to your hand this way, it deals damage equal to that card's mana cost to any target. Twenty cents. Reviving vapors. Vape Nation. Twenty cents. Buried alive. I just bought this card a couple of months ago. And the scrape of shovels and the rumble of cold dirt soon muffled their pleas. Buried alive. Dollar twenty. I paid four bucks for mine, I believe. What a sucker. Deranged Assistant, Stitched Drake, Shed Weakness, Crow of Dark Timings, Miming Slime, Walker of the Grove, Mammoth Umbra. I haven't seen that one yet. Repel the Darkness. Tap up to two target creatures, draw a card. A boon to those who cannot see in the dark, a bane to those who live in it. Mr. No Bueno! Thanks for seven months in a row. The tier two sub! Nice. Raid Bombardment, bombardment and Demir Guild Mage. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me a Karn or a Liliana. We got a Foil Dark Dabbling. And we got a Tassiger the Golden Fang. 56 cents. Damn it, Tassiger. We're hitting some of those low rares, man. Sigil of the New Dawn. Whenever a creature is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you must pay two. If you do, return that card to your hand. The sigil represents an honor that endures beyond death. Twenty-one cents. Forbidden alchemy. Seventeen cents. Shire, Shizo's caretaker. So it doesn't let creatures that are one one die, basically, unless they're tokens. Twenty-five cents. Scuzzback Marauders, Treasure Cruise, Mad Prophet, Who Callers Accomplice, uh, Wild Mongrel Foil, Resurrection, Faithless Looting, Vessel of Endless Rest and Conviction. These guys said Faithless Looting was worth something, right? Yes, yeah, worth sixty cents. All right, here comes another pack.
Yeah, right, Sage? Next week, they're launching their ladder stuff, right? Oh, baby! We got a foil life from the loam. Yeah! That's pretty good luck. Yes! It's our second loam and a foil version of it there. And our rare is Disrupting Shoal. Two bucks. You may exile a blue card with converted mana cost X from your spell's hand rather than pay this mana's cost. Counter target spell if it's converted mana cost is X. Mage Ring Network. Eighteen cents. Spirit Karn. The most beautiful soul souls shine even in death. Mystic Retrieval. Cents, Flight of Fancy, Seder Wayfinder, Sultai Skullkeeper, Mark of the Vampire, Eel Umbra, Cut Crushing Canopy, Last Grass, Lotus Eye Mystics. And then we've seen the rest. Every action has a foreseen purpose. Loam's $27. Nice. 